armor like yesterday, which means I don't feel arc burn. But the shanks all shoot arc and even explode on arc. So there's a lot of arc burn damage on the final boss. So that's all I gotta say. And final, the, the new Nightfall standard, shields do not regenerate. So once again, you'll need to have something for Void, something for Solar, and something for Arc Burn. There are no Arc Shields, but we just have Arc Burn perk. You'll need to take down Wizard Void Shields and Captain Solar. In the final boss, they all use Arc Damage. He uses the Solar Sniper and the Void for the first two parts. But he was also with the Arc Burn. He went down like fucking cheese. As long as we don't get killed by his minions, we're okay. We're just going to wait for Hawk to catch up here, and then we're going to move forward. Then I'm going to go into the Nightfall. Then we're going into the Iron Banner. Where I'll be picking up another three amazing warriors to go in and grind. Uh, we'll meet up in orbit, head to the tower, then take off to the Iron Banner from there. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Hold on, I want to switch out my guns here. I like this Hereafter Sniper, of course. Uh, another thing I'm curious for all you amazing gurus of the game, you guys know everything that's going on, um, what is up with, um, the, I'm totally brain farting here, the, if you break down, uh, the black hammer, what do you get for it? If anybody knows. I heard you get something out of it. What do I want to use on this last one? I'll switch it for. It turns it. You turn it into Eris for rep. A rune stone. Okay. Because I have two of them, but the fact is, is in regular Crucible, they're still exactly the same, so it doesn't matter. I'm bringing in my supercell. I want to have some fun with this today. Uh, this is a three of coin boss coming up here, folks, so don't forget to eat that now while we got the moment. Also, uh, we will, the nightfall, if folks like me, you're helping friends repeat it, three of coin it. It's the highest saber strike you're really going to find outside of, you know, the supercell. So. You are close. They will have your scent. Now. This is the second Nightfall in a row, Beware. too, to have kind of like the shield eater requirements and the non regenerating shield. So it may become kind of a standard to replace the Nightfall. Need a job done? Call a hunter. Want a job done? Overpowered? Call some hunter. If we get really bored too, and people want to help me do the first part of the raid, so I can try yeah, to get something out of the raid, that'd be out. cool. You can't let them take that base. We also got all next week to do the raid. Raider, do this Oh, I black cameras like I said too there's a big rumor that infusions coming within like 90 days to all past legendaries so there's all I mean those, that is purely rumor it's it's one of the many possibilities that could happen they're not really sure which way they want to go the the destiny community is kind of torn what's up Devin you know, do they do we want infusion added to it, or do we just want like really high legendary marks for breaking them down? And because and, and, they really have to decide where they're going to go with it, or are they just going to get rid of them? You get legendary marks, and then you uh, have to go do the raid again and get a new black hammer of 240 with infusion. I think that both that's the thing. They all sound good. It all sounds fun. Reason to go do it again, a higher, harder challenge, earning your reward. Chime in at Twitter, people. These Bungie and the crew, they could definitely get good positive feedback, intelligent answers on that. Very nice. 
Scotty. And thank Last you. One. This is current generation, forever generation. would have said it out loud, but wait, I thought we had to go through and fight the boss. Damn it, it's not a three of coins. Oh well, I'll still have it for the nightfall. Broken, but still more. Even better. We'll continue to track and look for signs of yeah, I play on the PS3, PC, and I'll get the PS4 as well. But until my PS3 breaks, knock on wood. Oh, nice! I have that. I haven't really used it that much lately. Mostly because I have a fully auto legendary, if, so I don't have to panic over it. All right, remember what I said, folks. You'll need a void to take down the wizard, solar for the captains. Uh, we're going to have it taken all the way through, if it's like it was for me, uh, to the very end. So lots of uh, miasma clouds and stuff. I'll void for my subclass, so that will help with the wizards. Um, I don't have any void weapons. Yeah, I mean, do what you want. I mean, I don't. I just just recommendation. Like, I can take the shields down. I got a lot. It's just the first part. Don't worry about mooching the arc burn. Like, it's because we have to defend the war out. So it's really open, out in the open. I mean, just whatever is gonna work. It's a distress call. There are so few ballet fans left, Guardian. It'd be a shame to lose them. It's that solar that I don't have a lot of right now. Guess I can go in back there. For the captain. Got the doll of him void for those wizards. I thought you could use only use uh, uppercut on the exotic sword. Ah, I I think so. Yeah, only exotic. One can't afford another omnibus situation. Get in there, assess the threat. You can on the only on the exotic. Well, you can do the quick just jump really fast and then hit the attack, and you do a real like instead of a high jump, it just does a real short range, like crescent slice with all the elements. And you can, what you do is you jump, and right as you jump, you press the, the forward attack and then the crescent attack, and you do a double attack. And that's enough to take the captains out, even with legendaries. Like the solar, the first, like, forward attack takes the shield, and the second takes out the... Oh, I gotta switch out, hold on, I gotta switch out my arc It's also a medic armor, so the loot by. The hardest part of the strike. Not that hard if you just drove Well, the the um the trick with uh with this too is like turning invisible and just like hiding because <laughs> it's really just by getting to the hundred <laughs> percent. Checking out your whip. Wait, where's Hawk? Oh, he's over there. Can we take out these lights first before we start it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, they don't really ever affect us. But... Well, Hawk started it. Oh, I got one up. There's gonna be two blights right here. We got car. Right after this, I'll switch to Supercell. This cuts the fuckers like better.
this is taking so long. But these sequences are incredibly complex. Plus, I'm actually not that big a man. So... Heads up, Rasputin's dropping a war site in from orbit. It's got the codes we'll need to access his bunkers. Switch over to my supercell just because the arc burn is going to be a bonus damage. This gun's just not pumping it. It's all good. Oh, how'd you get the supercell? You left it trying to get it at a valid. Oh, I just got it randomly a long time ago. It's like one of the first guns I got. I have a primary exotic when I was doing three coin farming. It's funny because there's always somebody always has one gun. Everyone else is like trying to get, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, Saints doing like four times the damage. If you drop shields, I can cut through anything once you get past those elemental shields. Captain went up bridge. Be ready for nightfalls. We have a war site incoming. Rasputin says it contains codes we need to get. Yeah, it's always going to be taken and once the nightfall sets, it sets. I took both the blights out in like the first 10 seconds. Those three blights where we spawn are pointless to waste ammo on. They don't do anything. The last few times I was last man standing, I just let myself get killed so I waste any time. Just sit there and try to solo and waste ammo. Captain coming around. Stay near. Remember, we can always just try to avoid invisible and, you know, we don't have to kill all the enemies.